Good morning. Thank you for letting me be part of your day. So I'm very grateful for it. My name is Jamie Osborne, um, and we are going to work with some energizing breath, some breath to bring life into your body, um, find focus and connection this morning. We're going to work with two different breaths this morning. The first one being diaphragmatic breath or deep belly breathing. So for those that don't know, quick anatomy lesson, uh, the diaphragm is the muscle that separates your chest from your belly. So that's the first breath we're going to work on. And then the second breath is just going to be a focused breath. Um, and what that means is you're going to close your eyes and you're going to breathe. And I am going to read a few scriptures on breath that I love. And you're just going to breathe and purely focus on the words of the scripture and notice, you know, when you when you feel filled with joy, you know, because anytime we're filled with joy um, gives us more energy. Also, one thing I forgot to say about the diaphragmatic breathing is it really helps with focus and speaking, um, obviously, right? Because we speak and sing from the diaphragm, but it helps to kind of clear the way for us to speak either to the public or to each other. So I felt like that was a really great breath to focus on. So all of these beautiful gifts that the Lord has given us through our breath, it's pretty amazing. So I'm grateful to be sharing that with you here this morning. So I love it. If you could start, probably my guess is you're seated in a chair, which is wonderful. But I want you to feel really secure in your seat. I want you to feel wobbly or I don't want you to feel like, um, you could fall or you're uncomfortable. I want you to feel really rooted in your chair or if you want to lay down. I don't know what the circumstances are, but you could definitely lay down. Whatever feels the most comfortable to you. So I'm just going to give you a moment to get settled. Once you feel like you're beginning to settle, we're going to keep going with that. So you're going to let your shoulders get a little heavier. Now, even though the shoulders get heavy, we're not slumping because if we slump, then we're closing up this area. We can't expand. So that you want to make sure that you're in a nice long seat, um, not an intense it's straight up because then that also decreases your ability to expand through the backs of your lungs. So you just want to feel like your spine is long and you feel good in your seat. You feel solid in your seat and your shoulders are heavy. I like to rest my hands on my thighs normally. Some people may choose to put their hand here on their low belly just as kind of a conscious reminder to breathe down into where those hands are located, into that deep belly breathing, into that diaphragm. I'm gonna leave it up to you, okay? So again, come back to your position, make sure you feel solid on the earth. And we're gonna take a big breath in. And you're gonna exhale out. So just notice how that feels. Let's just try that one more time. So take a big breath in. And exhale out. Now, I exhaled through my mouth. Did you? Have you exhaled through your nose? Ultimately, we're going to try to breathe through the nose with the diaphragmatic breathing. But for this first few moments, just get a rhythm for yourself. Okay? So let's do it again. Breathe in. And exhale out. And breathe in and exhale out. Good. Okay. Just notice for yourself how did that feel? Was it a struggle? Did any place feel constricted? Did it feel challenging? Not with any judgment or criticism, just an understanding. Okay. Now we're going to work really hard. You're just going to breathe as deep down into your body as you can. You're going to try to breathe in and out through your nose. 
Um, and I don't know if I have any more tips, but I'm sure something will come up. So let's start with that and then we'll go from there. Okay, so sit up, nice space in the body. Hands can rest on the belly or on your thighs. I'm gonna go for the belly this time, in and out through the nose. So inhale and exhale. If you feel comfortable and safe, go ahead and close your eyes. Breathe in. And breathe out. And just begin to notice what's happening in your body. Breathe in. And breathe out. And release your hands and open your eyes for a second. Were you able to get low? Or were you staying more up here in your chest or maybe more up here in your high lungs? Some of us are. A lot of us have just been trained in life to breathe here or here. Maybe that was the case for you. So I want you to slow it down and I want you to really see if you can focus on how deep you can get your inhale. Okay, so you're just going to practice on your own. We're going to do this for about three minutes. We're all, if it feels comfortable, close your eyes or cast your gaze down. Pull all of your energy in to focus purely on your breath. And we will begin. At any point you need to take a break, take a break. As you continue to breathe, I want you to ask God to clear your mind of any negativity or self-doubt or self-judgment. Work with him to bring in self-love and self-acceptance, gratitude. Use this time as deep belly breathing is also a time of prayer. A time of relationship between you and God. What more pure way to connect with your creator than that breath, that breath of life. Dear Lord, I know that I am the perfect creation made in the likeness of you. I know that I am whole and perfect just the way I am. And please, Lord, let me to see that for myself. Through my breath and the mirror of each of these beautiful humans in the room with me, let them be the mirror to my beauty. As in, I am a mirror to them. Thank you for my breath. Thank you for this life. Thank you for the peace. And for the gifts. Amen. Exhale all the way out. Slowly begin to blink your eyes open. 
Roll your shoulders. Give yourself a big hug. Release your hands. Roll your shoulders. Give yourself a big hug. And then release, get some wiggles out. So the next one is our breath of focus. You are going to focus on everything that I read, all the words that I say. Hopefully it's comfortable and safe for you to close your eyes so that you can uh, cast out any other senses of you know, sight, um, light, that sort of thing. I'd really like you to be able to draw in to yourself with this next breath. So you're just going to breathe. You're gonna inhale through your nose. Maybe you exhale through your mouth. Maybe you exhale through your nose. There's no requirement to how you're choosing to breathe. I just want you to slow your breath down and I want you to focus on my words. So with that being said, you're gonna go back to your eyes being closed. And before I begin reading, I'd like you to just connect back to your breath. Maybe you go back to your deep belly breath. Maybe you choose something else, but I just want you to begin to breathe. From Psalm 104.30. When you send out your life-giving breath, things come alive. And the world is like new again. When you send out your life-giving breath, things come alive. And the world is is like new again. Job 33, four, the very breath of God is in you. The very breath of God is within you. Psalm 39.5, Though our lives are but a breath, our hope is in eternal life with God through Christ. Though our lives are but a breath, our hope is in eternal life with God through Christ. Psalm 156, let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Finally, a quote by Bonnie Gray, with each breath you take, Name each worry to give it to God in prayer. So as you continue to breathe, I'd like to shift our gears for the last few moments. And I'd like you to bring up any worries, concerns, unknowns, discomforts, for your day, anything that might possibly be a block for you to be filled with the Holy Spirit, but anything that might get in the way of you connecting to your family in Christ or yourselves or Christ himself. And breathe that prayer in and as you exhale, give it to God.
Maybe you just choose to breathe in your worry, you name it. And as you exhale, you place it into God's hands. Hopefully I gave you adequate time to breathe your prayers to the Lord. And if I did not, please continue to breathe until you feel like you have given all of your concerns and worries and have laid them in his hands or at his feet knowing how precious and taken care of you are and what a beautiful day you are going to have today. Once you feel ready, begin to blink your eyes open. Maybe roll those shoulders a couple more times and drop one ear to one shoulder and drop the other ear to the other shoulder. Remember throughout your day, bringing your head back, that you can breathe deep into that diaphragm. And exhale all the way out. One more time, big breath in. And exhale all. And for those that know me, they know I always throw in one more thing because I just have to. So I felt like that was a very beautiful, deep breathing, deep connection. But now I want to up your energy just a little bit. So I'm going to add one more thing. I'm sorry. It's what I tend to do. So we're going to just breathe through one nostril. We're going to breathe only through the right side. So we're going to close up the left the whole time. This can be a little anxiety or panic producing for some, and so if it is, please just stop and breathe. The reason we're gonna breathe in through the right side is, is that it brings energy to the body. Working with the right side connects to the left side of the brain, brings in oxygen, increases your heat, increases your energy for the day. They always say you never wanna breathe, Nighttime is not the right time to breathe into the right side. <laughs> so we're just going to breathe through that right nostril. We'll just do five or six breaths. So the best way to close up your left nostril is to just take your two peace fingers. And you're just going to go just a little above that flare part of your nose, kind of right into the side of your nose right here. And you're just going to close it up. I mean, you can already hear I sound funny. You can tell it's closed. Breathing through my right side is a challenge. It's always my stuffy side. Um, so there might be something to have said. Maybe I don't have enough energy. If it feels stressful, just release it and continue to breathe through both nostrils. Okay. So here's the last one, I promise. <laughs> promise. So you're going to take those peace fingers. You're going to close up the left side of your nose. And you're just going to take five inhales and exhales through the right side. So let's begin. See if you can deepen those two more. One more. Now exhale through both nostrils. Good. You can do that as many times as you want throughout the day. You guys can come back and reference this if you'd like at any time. I hope you have the most beautiful, blessed day with each other. 
Again, thank you for letting me be a small part of it. Keep breathing throughout the day. Keep that energy and that mind open and expanded and flowing. Blessings to every one of you. Thank you.